See, very carefully, guys. Now we are going to study what is this properties of this fluid pressure and understand what is the derivation. So as we know, what is the solid pressure formula, Darun? What is the solid pressure formula? Force by thrust area, by or area. we can say thrust by area. Correct or not? But is it the same formula yes, for sir. fluid pressure also? Will you accept it? No, sir. no. fluid pressure formula is different. No, sir. What we are going to uh, derive now. So now for the deri derivation, first of all, first we need to know something. So that is what we will study. So as you know, for example, let me consider. Now, Pradosh has been taken certain container. So let me imagine this is what the container taken by the Pradosh. Now, he has been he has been closed with uh, some kind of fluid, guys. I am not taking liquid or gas. What is that? I am taking what, guys? Now, I am taking fluid. fluid. Yeah. So now you people tell me. Now fluid is present inside. This is the walls of the container. Now pressure is acting in what direction? Anybody can say. Tamil Selvan, Jay Varshini. Pressure is acting in which direction? Adarshan. All directions, sir. All the directions. Direction. So you can all the direction. direction. These particles. This direction. These particles. This direction, this particles, and this direction, this particles. Now you can tell me. Pressure is always acting at what way? It is uh, parallel or perpendicular to the surface. If this is the surface, pressure is acting like this. This is the surface acting like this. This is the surface acting like this. So parallel or perpendicular? Perpendicular to surface. Yes. Perpendicular. That is what everybody should remember. Understand the own? Yes, sir. No. So always in a liquid or fluid pressure. So the pressure in fluids, the uh, first point, the first property, at any point if will take, the fluid is in contact with the surface, the pressure is directly directed what? Perpendicularly to the surface. How it is directed, guys? Perpendicular. Perpendicular to the surface. Are you clear, everybody? Yes? That yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember it. Understand it. So now, if we'll take here, and also, if we'll take at any point inside the fluid, the pressure is directed in all the directions within the same magnitude. So, whatever the pressure is acting, suppose here Monish make a small hole, same kind of uh, hole Elmukil make, here same kind of hole Darun make, same kind of hole Tamil Selvan make. Now, is it here more fastly, here less fast, here more fastly, here more fastly will come fluids? All the directions pressure is same. Is it yes, guys? Pressure exactly. Yes, sir. So don't say, sir, then top water won't come correct, sir. I'm saying if it is inverted, then it will come all the holes, the pressure will be same. Is it yes, guys? Yes or no? That is what you have to remember. But the pressure is varies. Again, we'll study. So the pressure exerted at this all the points, you can see, if this point. But why it is saying, I will say, you, you people can understand it. So we can say the pressure is directed in all the directions with the same magnitude. But what point? At any point. Understand, Ra? At any point. For example, let me take now, this is what Elmukil is. Now, Elmukil, if you make, if this is the container, if this is the container, now bottom surface, you make same point, here one hole and here one hole. Now, is it both the holes, uh, the fluid will come with the same force or different force? Same force only, sir. Same force. Now, Pradosh will make here, this side one hole and this side one hole at the same height. So, is it both the holes same force or different force? Same force. Same force, correct? That is what I am saying. So, at a given point, what is that, guys? At a given point, the pressure is uh, directed equally in all the directions. Are you understand, Elamukil? Everybody? So if you take here, at this point, pressure is equally diverted in all the directions. If you take this point here, the pressure is diverted all the directions equally. If you take bottom point, the pressure is directed all the directions equally. This is what I am saying. So, but is it varies or not? Is it varies or not? It will varies. Understanding. Yes, so sir. here and here and here, it will varies based upon the height of the fluid. Based upon the what other shen? height of the fluid. Understanding now. Now, for example, now let me imagine, Pradosh is standing down. Now, on the shoulders of Pradosh, Monish is standing. On the Monish of shoulders, now, Elmukil is standing. Now, who is feeling greater force? Anybody can say? Pradosh, Elmukil. Oh, Elmukil and Monish. Let me take. Now, Monish is up. Now, tell me, who will feel greater force? Adarshan? Pradosh, sir. Pradosh. Pradosh, sir. Pradosh, Pradosh. 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 Because what? 
the height, the depth of the pradosi is very deeper, so that the pressure exerted on the pradosi will be more. Then middle, compared to the pradosi, elemukil is less, but compared to the elemukil also, monis is what? Minimum. Yes or no? Yes, guys? Yes, sir. Same way, if you'll observe the liquids also. So, which particles the pressure is exerted more, bottom or top? Bottom, so bottom, sir. bottom. Understanding. So, bottom, P is greater, understanding, compared to the uh, top. Understanding, P is minimum. Understand, minimum at the top, P is greater at the maximum. So, but at that height, at that height, what I'm saying, at this height, pressure is equal. Understanding, at all the points, at this height, pressure is equal. At all the height, at this point, pressure is equally distributed. At this point, pressure is equally distributed. So it is equally distributed in all the directions. That is what I am saying. But height, based upon the height, it is varies differently. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. That is what you should remember. So now it's okay. We have now nine minutes time. Now we'll derive the expression for fluid pressure. Is it okay, guys? Yes, yeah. sir. Now, please, all of you, write the definition alone. Pressure in fluids. So, what is the definition? What is fluid drop? Darun, what is fluid? Tamil Selvan. A substance which can flow is known as a substance. A substance which can flow. Which can flow is known as what, guys? Is known as fluid. Is known as what? A substance which can flow is known as fluid, right? Fluid. Yeah. Right. The pressure applied. The pressure, sorry, the force exerted by a, or is the pressure exerted by a, the pressure exerted, exerted by a fluids is called what we should call it, guys is called what fluid pressure what we can say fluid pressure is it okay now yes sir now now here the very important one which will help you in our future also so let me take one big container can i take one big container daron tamil selvan now observe Three different particles. See, I filled with some kind of fluid. What I have done, Devarshini, Laksha, I have filled with the, some kind of, fluid. kind of fluid. Let me take, this is the first depth. This is the point one I have taken, P1. And this is the point two, P2. And this is the point three, P3. Now, as we know, if you are keep on going down, pressure increases or decreases? Increases. Pressure, pressure, pressure increases. increases. Yes, pressure increases. And if you keep on coming up, pressure decreases. Pressure decreases. That is what decreases. I have taught you just now. Now, as I said, for example, if you we'll take, for example, let me take at this height, if you we'll take at this height, the pressure is equally distributed in all the directions or not. If you we'll get the whole container for any direction, is it will get the same pressure or different pressure? Same pressure. same pressure. At this height, the pressure is same. At this height, the pressure is distributed equally same. in all the directions. Maybe P3 is greater than P2 is greater than P1. But at this depth, the pressure in all the directions is what, Pradosh, Maunish? Pressure is equal. Yes or no? Please yes, respond. Yes, sir. Only so pressure is undiminished understanding undiminished and it is equally distributed in all the parts at a given depth so this is only called as this law is only called as pascal's law what we should call pascal's law. very important law in our uh, future also so that is what so what is the pascal's law at a given depth understanding in a given closed container the pressure exerted in all the directions is what all the directions equal or undiminished to other parts of the fluid and the walls of the container so that is only known as what we should call it, guys pascal's law clear everybody 
So have you understand what is Pascal's law, Maunesh, Maitreyan? So please keep ending. Pascal's law. Pascal's law. Write it. Pascal's law. Alana, are you understand Alana? Jayavarshini. Write Pascal's law. The pressure applied. Yes, the pressure applied on any part of the fluid. The pressure applied on. The pressure applied on any part of the fluid any part of the fluid enclosed enclosed in a container enclosed in a container is equally transmitted equally transmitted equally transmitted in all the directions in all directions in all directions undiminished undiminished to other parts of the fluid undiminished to other parts of the fluid. Other parts of the fluid and the walls of the container. And the what guys? And the walls of the walls of the what? Container. Container. Yes. This is only called as what? This is known as what do you to call Maitreyan? Pascal's. Pascal's law. That is. So, till here, any doubt, anybody? Now we are going with the uh, no, for fluid pressure. Expression for what? Fluid, fluid pressure. pressure. So please keep waiting, everybody. Expression for fluid pressure. Most important, guys. Fluid pressure. So, now. Now itself, I will first itself, I will give the expression. Later, I will explain. So the fluid pressure, the pressure exerted by fluids, which is equals to rho d, sorry, rho g h. What is that? Rho, rho g, g h. So r, we can say d g h. So d means you may be understand by this time. What is that? Density. Yes, d g h. So rho is equals to d is equals to density. So shall we, shall we derive it now, everybody? So yes, very, sir. very simple, but very important. So rho it is. So this is what the fluid pressure. What is the solid pressure formula? Daron, solid pressure formula is P is equals to F by A, correct? Yes, but by A. it will come to the liquid pressure. The formula is changing into what? Rho G H or D G H. Yes or no? So now, how to derive this? Let us see. We can derive it very easily. So now for that, so let us take, can I take the some container guys? So let me take some container, understanding, which is having a certain kind of fluid. Is it okay guys? You have okay, sir. Then only. So now let me imagine some kind of fluid is inside. Some kind of fluid is inside. So we don't know the fluid. Definitely it is having some density. Is it okay guys? Will you accept? Yes, you have to speak. Yes, sir. So now, definitely it is having some density. So let us imagine the density is equals to what? Density of the fluid is rho, or we can imagine D. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, imagine yes, sir. the height of the the height of the column is what is the height of the column? We can imagine h. height of the fluid. Height of the fluid is h. Is it okay, guys? Yes, sir. Read out. Now. No, sir. Let me imagine it is having a certain kind of area of cross section. Understanding it is what we can say the container. Container is equal to what? Some area of cross section. It is okay, guys. Area of cross section. Okay, sir. Area of cross section. So area of cross section we can represent with what? A. Is it okay? Ra? Yeah. yeah. So now observe very carefully. So as we know. Let us derive the formula as we know first solid pressure. What is the pressure formula? P is equal to what, guys? 
f by e is equal to f by a f by a which is equals to f means in the sense of what ra f means in the sense of what thrust only yes or no so thrust is the weight of the object is it yes or no guys f means what f means thrust thrust means in the sense of what weight of the object. understanding so now weight. from the gravitation can anybody say what is the formula for weight weight is equals to what sir m g m into mass into acceleration due to gravity yes by a is it okay ra everyone yes sir yeah so let us imagine p is equals to m into g divided by a so this is what equation number 1 what i am assuming equation number 1 any doubt now from the lower classes and also i also taught you understanding from density formula what is the density formula can anybody say mass by volume mass by volume so density of the fluid is equals to what is the formula mass by volume now volume can i say density we used to represent with what rho rho is equals to m by v from that m is equals to what guys m is equals to what Rho into v. Rho into velocity. M is equals to rho v. So now, yes. So this is what it is. Now, can I imagine this is? Let imagine this is equation number two. Any doubt? Any doubt, guys? Please respond. Yes or no? Yes. Nobody will answer. No. No, no doubt. Sir. Yes. No so. Doubt, sir. yeah so now observe very carefully can i replace with now in place of substitute equation 2 in equation 1 substitute substitute equation 2 in equation 1 what will come anybody can say p is equals to in place of rho v into g by a rho v into g by a is it okay ra everybody yes sir yes yeah. yes sir now let imagine this is equation 3 this is what equation 3 now so what is the formula i said what is the formula i said liquid fluid pressure what is the formula fluid pressure is equal to what is the formula uh, rho g h rho g h rho g h this formula and this yeah. formula will observe something is missing what is that check it everybody h h height is missing height is missing height. now from the diagram observe very carefully from the diagram i have i have written you something one is what area of cross section another one is what height clear guys Yes, uh, other question. Now, what is the unit of volume? Anybody can say what is the unit of volume? Unit of volume, cubic the meter. Cubic meter. meter cube. Meter cube. Cubic meter. Now, cubic meter. Can I write it as a square meter into meter? Is it right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, from the diagram, observe very carefully. This is additional information, guys. From the diagram, from the figure. From the figure, you can write volume is equals to what, guys? Volume is equals to area of cross section. Area of cross section into what it will come? Elmukel into height. So now, what is the area of cross section unit? Remember and tell me from the first chapter. Area of cross section unit. Unit verification. Yeah, area of cross section square meter, height meter. So which is equals to cubic meter. Is it coming or not? Meter. Yes, sir. Is it coming or not? Yes, sir. That is so. Volume V is equals to area of cross section A, and uh, height is equals to what, guys? H. 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 So let imagine this is what ra uh, equation number. Four. four. Equation four. number four. Now substitute equation. What will come? substitute equation 4 in equation where equation 3 that's the 2 minutes we'll finish it equation 3 so what will come equation 4 equation 3 check it now everybody so the fluid pressure the pressure exerted by fluids is equals to what is the formula rho v into g divided by a divided by a substitute elmukel in place of v what i can substitute meter cube Sir, meter cube. A into h. Rho into a into h into g divided by a. Now what will happen? A gets cancelled, sir. A cancelled. So what is happening? So the pressure exerted by fluids is equals to rho g into g into h, or we can say rho g h. Is it okay, guys?
Yes, this is what the fluid pressure. So now you have to remember. So the fluid pressure is exerting on uh, three parameters. What is that? One is fluid pressure is directly proportional to density of the fluid. Fluid pressure is directly proportional to gravitational force. Understanding. Same way, fluid pressure is directly proportional to what? Height of the height. height. Understanding. So more height, more pressure. Less height, less pressure. Understand? Means height in the sense of what? Depth. Is it okay, guys? If I take it, okay. one is like this, one is like this. Which one more pressure? This one or this one? This is first and second. Second, right? sir. Clear? Because more depth, more pressure. Less depth, less pressure. Now, two single containers I have taken, same size. Now, in this fully filled and in this half filled. Now, in this, which one is pressure is more? Fully filled. Fully filled. Very good, others. Here, here is the pressure. So now, here you people will stand. In which one you will will, will, will feel more pressure? First Fully one is filled, Fully filled, filled, sir. Second one. Understanding because here height of the car liquid is more. Clear, guys, everyone? This is what the derivation yes, for sir. fluid pressure, which is a most important for our future also. And this class 9th also, you have to study this one. So always you should remember this. This is what the derivation for what? Fluid. Pressure. Clear, guys? Pressure. Now, it's already time up. I will send you in the group. All of you can. Uh, there are, you can write it in the later. Now, you can get ready. Thank you, this I'm going to stop. Tomorrow, we'll meet. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, sir. Yeah.